This movie tells a story of a single father and two women, who venture from the safety of their homes to face monstrous creatures to save the life of a young boy. The movie really lacks thrills, it's post-apocalyptic entertainment at its most undemandingly adequate. This movie is sluggish and sometimes feels like a standard issue. This apocalyptic film brings us absolutely nothing new, as it pulls some inspiration from other movies like A Quiet Place, Oblivion, and more. Each and every twist and turn is a predictable one, it's a race against time and elevation, with every step a predictable one. This is a movie in which everyone involved is simply going through the motions. Again, there's nothing new here, which is fine if the story can be delivered with a sense of urgency or imagination. Unfortunately, neither are present here. This is just a road exercise, with ludicrous ending. The story and characters are thin and really just bare bones. The characters argue about the same things again and again, while also being just as confounded as the viewers are about the nature of the creatures hunting them. The cast run and shoot and spout off lots of expositional dialogue in between the few bits of action here. They already know weapons are useless against the Reapers, but they keep firing away anyway, even after repeatedly proving that weapons are useless against them. It's also repetitive, especially since the filmmakers put the budget limitations of the movie on full display by how infrequently the digital monsters actually turn up in the story, the creature appearances are frustratingly few for too long. The movie forces its characters on a fetch quest storyline that inorganically places them in scenarios to have escape sequences from the giant insect invaders. The script isn't concerned with breaking down the machinations of this alien invasion or any rules besides that these bugs can't go high. Once Will leaves the compound alongside his companions, the movie becomes a generic survival film that plays out in all the most routine ways. The creature's design is interesting, unfortunately, the viewers are relegated to mainly one of these creatures the entire screen time until the film's final 15 minutes, and even then, they don't elicit the fear they are intended to. The movie only supplies a few adrenalized moments, there are only few scenes where the action and tension lead to something engaging. Besides that, everything that plays out is nothing new or enough to become anything more than background noise. The performance from the cast is generally decent, however, the script doesn't give them anything remarkable, presenting clunky lines and a few exposition dumps as it tries to offer some personal history, especially with Nina. The relationship that binds both Will and Nina, despite being explored the most, is still quite uninteresting. Audiences will struggle to care about any character as any connective tissue explored between them is so paper thin. The script is also barely stitched together, trying to find a way to connect each scene. Expectation for some form of closure for the characters gradually dissipates as the third act arrives. In fact, there's no ending here, just a large setup for a sequel that promises to examine the origin of the creatures and the response of empowered survivors. Overall, it's not worth to watch this in theaters, just wait on your streaming service.